Hi everyone, I'm going to show you how I set up my altar for Yule. Um, there's a little sneak peek there just over my shoulder. Um, so if you want to know how I set up my altar for Yule, keep watching. Hi everyone, so I wanted to show you how I set up my altar for Yule. So first of all, I needed to deconstruct the altar that I'd set up for autumn. And what I did is um, just very carefully removed all the objects from the altar just making sure I didn't break anything, make sure everything is nice and safe and put it all to one side so it wouldn't get damaged and the goddess candle and the stag that I've got to represent the god were put very carefully on a cushion on my chair to make sure they stayed nice and safe and didn't get dropped or damaged. The other objects were just placed on a couple of tables around the room just to make sure Again, that I didn't knock, knock anything off or get or it get broken. So I made sure I also removed the lovely rose petals I'd scattered on the surface um, last time. These are all really dried out now, um, so they can be used again. I just scoot them back up gently so I wouldn't sh uh, crush them and then put them back in the dish that's on the table to the side. Then, as you can see, I had a pile of ash left from burning incense. Whether I have an altar cloth or not, there's always a big pile of ash somewhere on the altar um, when I clean it off. And what I do is I keep the ash in a little jar because I can use it for rituals and things later on. So I scoop up as much as I can. Um, I'm not too bothered about getting every last little bit, but I like to scoop up a fair little bit and put it in my jar. And then the rest of it I just wipe off with a baby wipe. So I get a baby wipe and just clean the surface. Um, sometimes I use those surface cleansing wipes that you get, which can have like a nice lemony smell to them. For this, for this one, I just used a plain baby wipe that's not particularly got a smell to it. And this is to wipe off any dust residue, any little bits that might be from different rituals and things, any little bits of salt, anything like that. And then once I've dried the surface with a towel, I then use some white sage just to cleanse the area and prepare it ready for the next altar setup. This is my little ritual that I like to do when I set up the altar each time. So here I'm using my white, um, white sage incense. I, don't know, I couldn't say that then. So I'm using my white sage incense and using that to cleanse the area. Then once I've done that, then it's time to put the altar cloth in place. This is a lovely scarf that I've had for a few years and it's red and gold and I thought it would go perfectly with Yule. And also I like to reuse things I've got around the house because I'm not made of money so I'm not going to like buy loads of things every time I change my altar setup because obviously I'd run out of money if I did that. So I do like to reuse things that I've got around the house. And most of my ornaments and things are pretty much stuff I've already had around the house. It's only really my representations for the God and Goddess that were brand new and some candles and things. Um, so I took this red and gold cloth, uh, scarf, and laid it over the top. And then my other scarf that I had um, is this one, which is a golden one with silver sparkly thread sewn into it. And I thought that would be perfect for you all to use the combination of the red and the gold. I kind of wish that the um, golden cloth was a little bit thinner so more of the red showed through, but it worked out fine in the end. And once I got that all nice and neat, I then placed this uh, triple arch candelabra thing that I've got um, on at the back, I felt that the uh, Yule altar, altar needed more candles and a bit more height to the display. And I've had this candelabra upstairs for ages. And if you remember, I did a video on how to recycle the remnants from large candles. And it made five of the candles that are in this candelabra. Um, I just used an old red candle. And I like the red because obviously red, gold and green are traditional Yule colours. So that's the colours I wanted to use for the altar. So I placed that, obviously cleansed everything, and then placed that at the back of the altar to give it a nice bit of height. Then placed my goddess candle back on the altar in the center. And I've got these little slate placemats, which I use just to protect the surface from 
the other candles I've got just to protect the surface from heat. And the goddess candle is on like a clear glass uh, candle dish. I then place the stag, which represents the god, in front of the candle. Um, I did change this later on because something didn't feel right. And I tend to go with gut instinct on this. So if something doesn't feel right, I change it. Um, I just sort of stand back, have a look for a bit, and then normally it pops into my head what I need to change on the altar. But at this stage, I'm just placing on back on the objects that I like to keep on my altar permanently and obviously anything else I wanted to add for Yule. Um, I did tweak this a bit, and that lovely silver offering bowl that I've got, um, I did actually move in the end to the side. Um, I'll use that at a later date. Um, I just didn't have space for it. Because obviously having the um, candelabra at the back did take up a little bit of room. And at this point, I'm just checking I've got all the elements covered because regardless of where I lay it out on the altar, I do like to have represent representations of earth, air, fire, water and spirits. So I'm just checking that I've got everything. I've got my little decanter with moon water in for water. I've got my incense for air, uh, got my candles for fire and I've got my salt um, Tibetan salt um, tea light holder, which my is my representation of Earth. I also add some more stuff later on. But I made sure I got those in place first of all. And then it was just a case of working out where stuff was going to go. At this stage, I'm kind of trying to work out where to put the offering bowls because I'm going to put both of them back on. Um, and they didn't really fit. They're not really... There wasn't really enough room, so I decided to... Um, just use the one small one which you'll see me do in a bit then I chose which crystals I wanted to use um, I chose um, there's two different sorts of selenite um, lots of rose quartz and quartz crystal are what I chose to use for this altar setup basically um, my Yule altar, it's all about sort of drawing in love and happiness and positivity and health and happiness. And so that's why I chose to use um, rose quartz and quartz clear quartz crystal. Um, and I added the selenite because um, the goddess I work with is Celine and selenite kind of sounds like Celine, so I thought it would fit. And obviously being um, a white sort of half trans sort of semi-transparent colour um, kind of reminds me of the moon, which is why I wanted to use them. So here I'm just sorting through my crystals, finding all my quartz crystal and placing that on my altar. And also finding all my rose quartz. I absolutely adore rose quartz. I've always had rose quartz around the house for years since I was a child. Um, and also clear quartz. Those two crystals and amethyst are the three crystals I always have worked with the most. So I'm looking back and having to think. This is the stage where I thought something's not right and I felt I felt uneasy, um, like unsettled, so I knew I hadn't set something up right and something was not quite there. And then I realised it was not being able to see the goddess candle properly because it's behind the um, stag, so I do change that in a bit. Um, these jars that I'm placing at the back here, um, they are old curry sauce jars which I've cleaned out which are squared off at the bottom and rounded at the top and I just really like the shape of them and into those I've put some white sticks some sticks that are painted white and covered in glitter um, and I got those from um, I think it was from a shop called The Range and they're just in their sort of Christmas decoration section and I really like them because they look kind of snowy like they represent snow and the frost and also because they're made out of natural wood it's obviously there's an element of nature there on my altar as you can see at this point i've moved the, moved the 
representations of the god and goddess. Um, I felt that this time for this altar, the goddess candle needed to be in the center and be the main focal, focal point. I know Yule is all about the God coming back and like the sun coming back and the longer days and the more light coming back to the earth, but it didn't feel right. It felt more, it felt better having the candle in the middle. So I set up the goddess candle in the middle and put the stag just slightly to the right that way I get a clear view of both and I also have space around both for any offerings and stuff so I felt it worked out a lot better and I felt really happy once I did that so I knew it was the right thing to do then I've got these white fern um, leaves they're like just uh, plastic uh, fake ones that are covered in glitter and I've used those around the altar to add a bit of the snowy white colour I wanted. And then I've got these also artificial red berries, um, which I also placed around the altar as well. Because for me, red berries, I mean, obviously red's a colour for Yule anyway. Um, and I just felt it added that little touch to the altar. And the reason I don't use real um, berries is, A, if if you have like fresh stuff around... It's going to go rotten and it's not going to last forever. And at least with these artificial ones, they'll last through the whole season and I can use them again the next year. I decided to dress up my goddess candle a bit. I felt it needed something. So I got a red ribbon and threaded onto it two of my silver bells that I've got in my cupboard. I've got like a whole little bag of them. I just got those from the local craft shop and I threaded the bells onto the ribbon and then tied it onto the candle. Um, I felt I needed to decorate the candle and also that's a way of adding offerings for the goddess without having to have a separate dish. You can actually decorate the candle and use the decorations on the candle as offerings. Um, so that's what I decided to go with in the end for that. And I felt that the, the big white um, fern leaf with the glitter on and the red berries behind the candle really made that a focal point for the altar which was really nice then I sorted out all of my silver little singing balls that I've got they're little chime balls um, because for me silver is a very wintry colour and it's my favourite out of the metals colours it's my favourite one um, I much prefer silver to gold, although I don't I don't mind gold, but I do prefer silver. Um, like even my wedding ring is white gold. I don't like um, gold jewellery. I tend to go for silver. So I wanted those on my altar, and because I've got five of them, I've placed them in a rough pentagram shape around my Tibetan singing bowl. The singing bowl is always an important thing for me to have on my altar because I use it to... I use the sound of it for meditating and for relaxing and when I hear that sound of that Tibetan singing bowl it just sounds quite sort of magical and spiritual to me so that's why I always have it on my altar as well as the little singing bowls. And then at this stage I decided to refresh my um, oracle cards drawer. The two oracle cards that I had on my altar that I took off to redecorate have been on my altar for a few days. Um, I didn't feel a need to change them. They were ones I was thinking about um, for the week. So I did a little draw of my Halloween oracle cards and my Moonology oracle cards. Um, and saw what they came up with and there were some questions I was thinking of when I drew the cards and I, that will give me some answers to meditate on and work out exactly what my answers to my questions are. So I felt those were good draws. Um, I did feel I got answers to my questions, so that was really good. Um, and one of the main questions I asked was, is this all to set up right? Have I done it? Have I done this right? And I got a very I got a very resounding yes. Um, so I feel really happy and positive about this altar, and I'm really pleased with how it turned out. 
So I tidied away everything that I wasn't using and made sure everything was nice and neat in my drawer. Put my crystals back carefully in their little velvet tray. I like to have them in there. Um, I also did a drawing from my runes, so I did a little rune reading. Um, again, I asked a question, I mixed up the, the runes in my hand, and then the one, the one that fell between my index finger and my thumb, I felt that was the one that had got the answer on for me, so that's the one I drew. Um, so yeah, that's it. That's my setup for you all. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. Blessed be, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.